All right, here we got some .005 blue tempered spring steel. Super thin, like thinner than paper. At least it feels like it's thinner than paper. Comes coiled up in this coil that's like a razor blade getting ready to snap out. And you gotta be very careful with this because it's under some crazy tension. So slowly, nice and easy, without slicing your head or your wrist or your hands. Try to uncoil it until it's all the way out. Here we go. Yeah, one big fat long razor blade is what this basically is. So we'll slap the gear on the table. Now I really don't know what this is, but it's really small and delicate and intricate. Lots of small little tiny holes. They of course asked for some stuff that we've done for them before. Jump right in and do it. These ones right here nude me. But it should be no problem, hopefully. And uh, here we go. These little teeny tiny cuts. Can't get this with a regular laser. You're gonna need a fiber laser to do this kind of work. And uh, look at it go. Now, believe it or not, when it's really thin like this, it's kind of tricky to cut compared to the thicker stuff. I have a lot of nitrogen coming out of that nozzle and it likes to blow it and make it wobble and wiggle and it, it affects the cut. But with enough practice, you can get a really nice outcome. Point zero zero five right here, I'll tell you what. Point zero zero five, point zero zero eight, point zero zero eight. Not sure what they do, but they seem kind of important. Bring it on. We we'll cut it up. Let's demonstrate just how thin this stuff actually is. Look at this. Practically disappears when it's on its side. 